2.7 yards per carry, RG. Well, you heard Drew Boy in his interview with Adrian. He said, hey, I found out that W has run defense. And I think an interesting thing to go along with that is Drew Boy throughout this entire season has run with either the Eagles offensive playbook or that run heavy offensive playbook. But he switched it up completely for this game against W. He's in that Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook for this one. So maybe True looking to air it out a bit more against Dubby. We'll have to wait to see that, though, as he's starting off on defense. Coach Dubby did have that one takeaway, which gave him that two-possession cushion. See what they do here. Ball to 32. But Dubby, he's in this West Coast offensive playbook. Let's go. True sticking with that New England Patriots defensive playbook. Hit the flat, watch for the truck. Good job by Rinfro wrapping up at the 44. Check down. Try to the other side, not this side. First and 10. Day two, day two, day two. Is that true confusion controlling the out of position Kellen Winslow? <laughs> it's an interesting line of position right there. We saw problem use Winslow earlier got? in the season. And he's a tough guy to throw over. And you know he's got hands. Like Kellen Winslow on defense, that, that's a Hall of Fame tight end. So an ultimate team, for those that don't know, there's an out of position program where you take guys and you make items with them that, you know, they play out of their natural position. Brings that fantasy element to ultimate team that, you know, a big part of the demographic likes. And one of those items is a Kellen Winslow that instead of a tight end, he's a linebacker. That's who True's running around user control, and like you said, it's going to be hard to throw over that monster. What's one of your favorite out of position guys? I really like the Jabril Peppers. I've seen a lot of guys I use him. Oh, good Ted snap by Thompson! Tripped up. Renfro saved a touchdown. Teddy Ginn Jr. almost got free. There it is, that post route. So hard to stop. W, I mean, it, it's very, it's a very basic offense that he, he runs the majority of the time. He's just either looking for that post route over the middle. If you go and guard that, he's got a deep in route, a, a short dig route coming right across the middle that'll dump down to. And if all that stuff doesn't feel open, he'll just run and scramble with Vic. It, it's three simple reads that are the primary focus of his offense in this gun bunch. The scum bunch, as I like to call it, in this West Coast playbook offense, it's very effective, especially when he's making that right decision, right read. I mean, we heard Michael Skimbo, he said in that gun bunch, someone's always going to be able to get open. You just got to make the right read. Right read at the right time. First and goal at the eight. Goes back to Henry. Henry goes nowhere. Quickly goes back to the gun bunch. It's that dig halfback outplay. That post route on that play out of this gun bunch. Watch for somebody coming across the back of the end zone on the corners. Takes it to the two. And how can you not be using the middle of the field down here, especially around the goal line? Especially when you got that Kellen Winslow out of position. And on high level Madden, for those that don't know, the, the, a big part of the meta on defense is you use a control one of those linebackers and you just try to take away the whole middle of the field. And there goes Henry. Touchdown, Dubby. Dubby just stays consistent, continues to be comfortable playing against Drew, opens up the possession, first possession with a big touchdown. And let's see how true in this new Arizona offense can respond. So this was an offense he was running earlier in the year. He felt pretty good about it. He's making a comeback here against W. And I don't blame him. You know, you fall. You lost to him in the challenge. You lost to him earlier in the season. You got to change some stuff up. So 7 nothing there. Let's check in on the other side. It's Drini and Chaos. And Drini putting a field goal through. So that's going to make it three to nothing with 2:41 in the first, and I think anytime you can hold Dreamy to field goals, that's a win, especially for a player like Chaos. Yeah, Chaos' offense has been strong.
struggling. And I think this is a bad matchup for him because Trini has been known to play some of the best defense there is in the entire league. Look at that young, young buck, Drini. It's chaos. It's and there's great. no doubt that Drini, part of Top Madden, was looking at when Problem got popped by chaos. Drini's one of the best stories. First year being eligible to compete at 18 years old. Already won himself a belt. Only eight people in the history of this Madden Championship Series have won a belt. Young Drini's one of them. He's the youngest to ever do it. And the cool thing about it was last year, while well, all the MCS was going on, Drini wasn't old enough, but, you know, everyone was saying, hey, there's these young guys, Joel and Drini, both from Washington, D.C., go to the same high school. I believe you called it at one point. Oh, said, yeah. I said they'll hey, be here next year. There's some good prospects out there. We're, we're going to see them next year. and They want it. And here <laughs> they are. It's not every, you know, they, you see people not able to meet expectations so often in life, but... Both Joel and Drini fully meeting the expectations everyone had for him, which were high expectations. Hats off to those two good young players in the future of our sport. First and 10, throws it to the side. Ingram hauls it in at the 45. So on his first throw, first possession, it's a 19-yard gain. Chaos, okay, so looks like he got some jeans from young Kiv, some fashion tips from the Kiver over there. Kiv, of course, uh, probably got the, the highest fashion rating out of anybody in the Madden community. I had some holy jeans. Those are the ones that my mom let me wear to church. What? Now you're just fronting. There's, yeah, look at that. There's no way. I went H-O-L-Y. Holy jeans. Show up. Second and ten. I'm way over your head right now. Show up, yeah. Mariota. He'll lose four after Suggs gets in there. Boy, Suggs can be a real problem. Suggs has been a problem and been causing havoc in both Madden in real life for, it seems like, over a decade now. He's one of those guys, too, when he first came in the league, he had those crazy Madden stats. Even as a rookie, and you're like, even if you didn't know who Suggs was, didn't follow him in college, just by looking at his Madden stats, you're like, man, this guy's going to be good. That, that panned out exactly like you thought it would. Richardson stays on his feet. Houdini's his way to the 44. First down right there. Ken Ostland up. So I'm saying sometimes it doesn't work out for you. Some wacky things happen, but sometimes it works out in your favor. First down. Clock moving in the gun, trailing by three. So he's saying he can't snap it. Having another issue with the controller. What's going on with chaos in these controllers? You talked about it earlier in the season, Scotty. He needs to go down to the local shop and buy himself a controller he's comfortable with. Do we need to pass the hat here in the studio or go fund me? What we got to do to get this guy a controller? Yeah, he's made the bread. He got 10000 for making alternate league. He got 1000 for his win against Problem. He got another 1000 pull off this win against Young Drini. Gets outside with Mariota. And don't forget, he's got a sponsor with, with Dot City Gaming, the, their new esports team that they just built. They, you know, signed Young Kent, aka Chaos, and, you know, their team. And you guys need to get him, get him one of those crispy controllers with the with the scuff stuff on it and a little custom swag on there. That's what I need to see next time I get we got Chaos at one of these events. Second and twelve, Mariota. Doesn't even get out of the pocket. So that's going to bring up a third and 13. Yeah, defense, the run game and defense are the strong suits of Drini's game plan. Chaos, he's just been struggling on offense all around. And he shows glimpses of, you know, looking good out of that gun trips tight end. We've seen him have some nice runs. He'll cook up a hot dot every now and then, but the consistency just hasn't been there. That's the end of the first quarter. It's going to be 3-0 between Drini and Chaos. 
In our other game, Dubby with a touchdown lead over True. Here's the start of the second quarter. Let's lock in on Dubby and True. Dubby got an early touchdown on a running play. And right now, he's pretty much been owning through five quarters, True on defense. True Boys have been really unable to get anything going. I mentioned before, last time they met, he averaged 2.7 yards a carry. It's True in W territory. Trying to tie things up with the nine. Gurley. New Arizona Cardinals playbook. Could this be the remedy? Weekend League special. I love that. Gets in there for the score. What do you mean right there by the Weekend League special, Scott? Well, you know, in Madden, there's you qualify, get in the Weekend League, you play 25 games. Everybody trying to go 25 and 0. Doesn't always happen that way. But. You get to see some plays that people just run over and over and over because they know, except for the top players in the world, most of the Johnny Walmarts or Bazooka Joes can't stop <laughs> those money plays. Look at that formation right there. I've been in the weekend league. 22 games, that was my best. That was the first first weekend. Wins ain't bad. You get some good rewards for that? Because like you, the oh, more, I got some really good the rewards. more wins you get out of those 25, the better your rewards are. You know, I'd say per week, I probably averaged about 17, 18 wins, something like that. It's all about when you play. <laughs> I try to play early, you know, Friday morning, I get there, you know, everybody's at work and school. Because, yeah, hey, you play on a Friday night, <laughs> you're going to run into some absolute bazookas. Throws it up top. Hill, he's there. Touchdown, Drini. Oh, man, and chaos. Puts his face in his hands, lets up a big bomb to Drini, and Drini, who doesn't have the most prolific passing attack, that's what you cannot let him do. Let's get those big one-play touchdowns through the air. Well, they met earlier in the season. It was 27 to seven. Drini beat Chaos. And Drini put up a ton of yards in that game. Let me just put this in perspective. Drini forced five turnovers in that game early in the season against Chaos. Five. Oh, I told you you could play defense. Let's transition over. It's 10 to nothing here. And on the other side, it's 7 7. And remember, True Boy tied it up. That's forcing a punt. Fourth and 19, so True's going to get it back. All of a sudden, he's got the momentum. Could True get in the win column finally against Dubby? I mean, I know it's still early, but looking promising for him so far. Let up the early touchdown to Dubby, responded with a touchdown of his own. Now gets a stop and has the ball. A little quick hike. I've been very proud of True all season long. This was a guy that had a lot of trouble keeping his emotions in check. Sometimes, like, he self-admittedly would have a negative attitude, and he recognized that, like you said, and just immediately started correcting it. And so far here, and ultimately, he's been a pleasure to watch, a pleasure to listen to, and yeah, I mean, before our eyes. It's been awesome. I'm not saying he got out of line on social media, but he even tweeted at me one day. And I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. And uh, nah, I've noticed a huge difference with him, especially here in L.A. You've got to give credit where credit is due. you love to see that stuff. So first and 10. Now at the 27 for True. Trying to drive down before the half and take the lead. And, and to be fair, in True's defense, you know, he's here in the Ultimate League. He, he feels he doesn't get the credit he deserves. He, he's one of the most consistent players. He's tied with Michael Skimbo for making the most live events, which, which is a really cool accomplishment. He's made a lot of money playing John Madden football. He's extremely young, 21 years old. Tons of potential. And, 
I just want you all to put some respect on his name. Steve Young on third and 13, throws it low to Paul, and that'll move the chains. Looks like he's just going to take this to the two-minute warning. That's a good read right there. The crow route over the middle of the field. They'll be going with the crossing route. It's a nice NFL hat, too, by True. Yeah, rocking the shield. I like that hat. See him wrapping right there. Let me, let me see if I can see what True's got going on in the playlist. A lot of Bieber, some Katy Perry that he likes to mix oh, in. No, no, don't do that to him. It's Lil Peep, Lil Mosey, Jay Critch, and NBA Young Boy. Leopard, Leopard. What young Eli Clayton's got going on in the playlist. You're always ready to hit him with that beat, <laughs> that beat and stuff. I can't let you get away with it. <laughs> and Gurley, across the 50 to the 48. So first and 10 at the 48. Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> Gurley can't get away. Let's pause for a game break. A common theme here, guys. That is chaos trying to force a pass downfield, getting picked off, and then paying the price. There you go. And Trini went right up top afterwards and got himself a quick six. 17 0. Although, as I'm saying this, chaos is going to the crib. He is going to score a touchdown as well. It's going to be 17 7. We'll update you shortly. On the fly. I appreciate that on the fly yeah. stats. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's Come Drew. On. He's up there having some fun. He said, he made a bad read, he says, oh crap. And then he gets the catch and he looks at them, he says, you know what, I need it. And you know, it's all good when it goes your way. True had a similar play earlier this year in the Classic against W, where W threw right at him. Let's go for another update. Well, guys, you heard me mention it just a second ago. Chaos getting himself on the board with his own deep touchdown pass, Rico. If you can do it, I can do it, too. 17-7, two and a half minutes left in the first half. Appreciate it, gentlemen. I, I thought that true boy play, I thought that was hilarious, Coltrane. Like, he brings up that play a lot against W, where W threw right at him and was able to get the catch. And, there he goes, finds himself on the other end of that stick right there, th throws that dub, he gets the catch. It's a lot funner when you're the one getting the yards, getting the breaks go your way. There's Gurley on the outside, can't get the first down. So you're gonna have a fourth and six at the 30. It's gonna be a 47 yarder from there. Defense to stand by W to hold true to the three right here. It's not a perfect kick, so if W wants to, he has a chance to block this. Should have the accuracy and distance if there is no block. Up and good. You know, you talked about True Boy being very consistent, making it to these all these majors, but he hasn't had a lot of deep runs. You know, where Skimbo has played over 30 games in the MCS era in, in majors, True Boy is just shy of 20. A really, that's a really strong point, Coltrane. I mean, so it's one thing to get there; it's another thing to make a run. Yeah, it's one thing to make the dance, but to, you know, make a deep run there. But nonetheless, I mean, make, make it all those live events—it's just so impressive. Regardless if you made that big run or not yet, but for True, I'm sure that's something that's on his mind that he's well aware of, and he's ready to get over that hump. W takes a timeout at the 45. Three-point game. Let's see if he tries to get Icky with Vic here. And he'll just end the half. True with a three-point lead. Let's go over and get the last minute 24 with Drini and Chaos. Chaos able to close this thing down to a 10-point lead, but Drini's got the ball. Drini right there. He's going to get a touchdown. Get this back to a three-possession ball here. Oh, Chaos playing some defense, though. Sends the Goons. The 
look at Tomlin on the sideline. He's failing it. At some point, Drini needs to burn this press defense. He just pressed all up on him. Well, we've seen him go up top twice already. For some big play touchdowns against that, but no dice that time. Punts it out of bounds. 32-yard net punt. And Chaos will have a minute two and two timeouts to put a drive together. Maybe make this a one-possession game before the half. It's a big opportunity right here for Chaos. Greeny, he, he's, he's willing to play some more man-to-man -man coverage than, than we've seen the rest of the competitors play. Right here, he's just going to cover one, mixes it in very well. He's just so confident with his user defender. He feels like he can cover a lot of zones while the rest of the guys play man. He's in that man again. There's a coverage check. And we saw him play man-to-man -man pretty much all game against Chaos when they met earlier in the season. Back to it right now, having some success. I'm not going to lie to you, Cole Train. You called me out at the top of the show for this jacket. Asked me if I was going to a job interview. And Starting to feel it getting warm? I got a bone to pick with our, with our style. <laughs> I'm up here yeah, sweating. I'm going to pull the Rico in a minute. Rico's got that little portable fan he, he walks around with. I, I might need him to swing that my way at halftime. Good luck getting that fan for, for, for Rico, huh? Well, I mean, for us, you know, the big guys, it was nice. Earlier in the season, it was like a like an ice box in here. I was actually had some meat I was hanging, you know, getting it ready for the winter. But, you know, they went ahead and turned it up here in California on us. They're like, if you won't eat our kale, then we're not going to give you any air conditioning. Yeah, we did have that one. So that's coming back. That's on us now. Gator in with it. Just kale and quinoa. And I don't got it. For the record, I got nothing against the kale and the quinoa. Like, you know, if you want to eat that, that, that's your business. There's nothing wrong with it. But when that's the only option, I'm not going to be failing. Sounds like a spinoff of the Key and Pill show. They said that's a new nickname, kale and quinoa. Are you kale or are you quinoa? I would go with kale. It sounds closer to coal, so. I'm quinoa. Doesn't sound like Arch. Scott Kale here. He's a play by play. <laughs> Scott Kale, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Second and ten. This is big for Drini. He's right on the cusp of field goal range. Could you be the Kale train? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds disgusting. Not anything to do with that. Sack. That was a big sack right there. The chaos. That's going to wrap up this first half. Take it away, Kale train. <laughs> Here at the half, 17 to seven. Chaos still hanging around with Drini. And Dubby got off to a seven nothing lead, but True comes back with 10 unanswered here at the half. Start of the third quarter here between Dubby and True. It's a three point lead for True. Has never beat Dubby. This is considered a rivalry in the Madden community, but Dubby doesn't see that. He does, you know, would you call a hammer and a nail rival? No, but hey, I, I call this one a rivalry. I, usually I'm with Dubby on this one, but you know, they got a rich history and a lot of games played. And so, are you telling me if True wins this game, it's a legit rivalry? Like, there's no. It dummies mine. I'm not saying it's not. Take a look at these most rushing yards. But he only has four. He's had some big breakout games, but only has four in this one. Makes sense. The Andrini and problem all over the place. I expect that. I'm surprised we haven't seen True on there. I mean, he's got one of the best run games and. Hasn't had enough possessions. Run sticks. He's played a lot of close, low-scoring games. Haven't had a lot of possessions. Very time-consuming, and he's only broken a few runs. Hasn't had many long gains. Second and inches. Right now you see Dubby pulling up his play art. 
Again, Drew can't see this. He's just seeing the game from Duffy's point of view, and Drew acting like he could see the play art. Touchdown, Bo Jackson. Cooks up a hot one, and look at Drew bobbing and weaving, swagging around. Got that NFL Shield hat on, looking crispy. And Dubson's not feeling it. Just to make it a 10-point game, it's up and it is good. I don't know what it is, but W does Truth feels like he has a little more pep in his step this game. Dubby's going to need to make a big play to get some of that momentum back, maybe get in Truth's head. And usually you see Dubby talking to True and trying to get, get, under his, get under his skin or get in his head. And not seeing any of that right now. It's like True's the one in control. That play again, Bo Jackson taking it to the crib. I think Dubby was just so sure True was going to run the ball. True flips the play. You think and stretch to the right side and then just a crispy nine round down the deep left sideline. True said when Katy Perry's firework comes on, he's a madman. <laughs> Let's get a game update. Well, that's not as big of a rivalry on this side over here, but Chaos taking the second half kick all the way back to the crib up the right sideline. It is 17-14. And RG, thanks. That makes the Patriots and the Jets a rivalry. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'll let you respond to that, RG. <laughs> Some stuff you just don't even need a respond to. <laughs> You know what, I'll give them though. We've had some good games with the Jets about sure. five, six years ago. Hand it off to Henry. <laughs> W's got to get going here. Trailing by 10. 3.40 to go. Trying to make it one possession. Going to need some stops along the way. True has been toasting that. Covered two of W all game. Vic, low throw to Hester. Wasn't touched, got back on his feet. Nine of 10 for 131 yards through the air. It's that corner strike play, very effective. And w starting to get his offensive gear, making some good reads. Here's the scramble with Vic, getting icky. Gets down at the 11, gonna depend on the spot. It's gonna be second and inches. Right, what I'm saying, True's got all the momentum. I'm not feeling Duffy's body language. He's just proceeding to walk this ball down the field. Got to make sure you get three. Check four, check four. Checking the This is a good shot time. This is a perfect time. Looking, to looking, shot. nothing there. I like what Duffy did there, Cole. And you're not familiar. Second and inches. That's a great time to really maybe take a risk or take a shot play because if you don't get the first down, as long as you avoid the sack or the turnover, you have third or fourth down if you need to to just get an inch and get the first down. And there is Henry picking up the first down. Fresh set of downs from the nine. I don't think anybody execute that better than problem. If it's second and one and you're playing problem, you got to watch out for his money play because he's one of the best at getting you in that situation, making you think run. And hitting you for a big play once you pull out that run defense. Let's do a little double box action. Down here at the eight. Chaos on the 21, trying to take the lead all of a sudden. Wow. Ken Hosslander, huh? Not going within the night. For his second win of the year. All day. Reads a book. And then under pressure, made the throw down to the eight. Looked like he was across the line, but he wasn't. So first and goal from the eight. And on this side, after the touchdown, W will kick it through. Little pass in traffic by W. Able to possession, catch it, and let's see how True responds. Now only up three. W could find himself a defensive stop. He'd have all kinds of momentum. And Come on, Jesus. You'd have to think True would be feeling the pressure. And you hear W starting to talk a little bit now. Maybe getting in his groove. True. Takes it out to the 30. Let's take a look at this game for a moment between Drini and Chaos. Chaos trying to take the lead. Third and goal from the seven. We got good ball games all around right now, Cole. I love it.
As time looks, throws it. Going to be shy. Got to kick the field goal and tie this here. Hey, you tell, you tell the league ops guys, go ahead and bring 32 guys in here. I'm ready for the octo box. I'm ready to go four wide. Four, four wide. Four yeah. games at once. I'm ready. Will be eliminated. That's for chaos. He'll be eliminated from the playoffs with a loss. And if true wins, there's a scenario coming from the truck. That's a big deal. Not only for chaos, but for the other seven competitors here in this legend division. Oh, and there goes Greeny. At the 20, 10, 5. Bye, Felicia. He's still running. <laughs> Greeny responds in a big way. You saw that graphic. The chaos loses this game. True Boy wins. He's off the playoffs. And like I was saying, that's a big deal for the other seven competitors because that means only one more out of those seven will not make the playoffs, and the rest of those six will secure their spot. A little bit more guap and glory. Of course, he'd be eliminated from the playoffs, not eliminated from the seasons. He'll still have a couple more games, a chance to put a little more pocket change. Chaos, when you look at his body language, man, he, that just looks like a Madden player that's going through it, man. Every time he seems to get some momentum, so he looks like me sitting in coach, just knees up, no room. Score and then Drini just returns the kick right away. After you tie the ball game up, we saw him making a run earlier. His controller was giving him issues. He's just constantly going through it out there. Seven of 12 now. Went all the way down, tied it up with a field goal, and then ensuing kickoff, Drini took it to the house. Drini with this cover one Robin press. They've had two kick returns in this game. Tell you what, all these guys are always practicing against different types of zone looks, that crossfire blitz. Dollar, you know, some cover two. How about that man-to-man? -man? Starting to settle in. Exactly. Yeah, you go up against some of these young bucks like Trini or Joel. You, bet, you better have your man beaters out there. They, they ain't scared to call that cover one press. Earlier in the season, Trini won 27-7. Chaos is trying to flip the script here late in the season. And that'll be the last play of the third between Drini and Chaos. Just a touchdown game between these two with one more quarter to play. 24 to 17. And down on the bottom, True with a three point lead over Dubby. These are both divisional games. And that's why they mean double. Taking a look at the standings here in the Legend Conference Division A, you can see Drini right there at four and three in chaos. One win, six losses. Uh, okay, not looking good for chaos, but I'm impressed with Drini. I mean, he started off this season kind of grim. A couple of losses as well, and he's really turning it around. Now he's in the hunt for the one seed. And the other side, taking a look. Between Dubby and True. Oh, shout out to the camera from Dubby. Put them in Skimbo, always aware of where our camera crew is. They are pretty good at that, those two, aren't they? <laughs> Here's the vision B, the standings. Problem on the top. Dubby was in the basement just a few games ago, but he's won two straight. And now you got True trying to climb back into it. Start of the fourth quarter, three-point game, true with the ball at the 38. Five minutes to go. This is a good game, Scott. Rivalry match, tight ball game, fourth quarter, deep in the trenches of the Ultimate League in a tight division. Two no, top no, 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 talents. Leopard, Leopard. All right, here we go. 
Third and 20. Gurley. That'll at least give him an opportunity for a 41-yarder. The wind blowing a little bit against him, but it'll push it toward the middle. And it's up and it's good, 20 to 14. Here comes Dummy. This is going to be a big drive for him. He'll go down the field, get himself a touchdown, take the lead, even though Trues felt like he's been in control this entire game. This could give Dub all kinds of momentum. He's got to watch out for Hester here. Goes down at the 34, and that's where Dubby will have to go to work. He could drive down here and take the lead. Just 143 yards. True Boy's almost doubled his output. It's been all passing for Dubby. And there was Anderson. Let's get a game update. Guys, Chaos not ready to go down without a fight and be eliminated just yet. Going to the back corner of the end zone. Possession catch for the touchdown. Tying things up with Drinny. Just under five minutes left in the fourth. We can build on this. That was that jumping animation, RG, which most of the time doesn't go in your favor. But he was able to get his feet in bounds with the touchdown. I was wondering what Rico means with this week. Has he got some chaos stock that I, that I don't know about or something? So ch Rico in the lab of chaos, maybe? I keep my opinions to myself. It's a six-point game. Ball to 29. Bobby's just looking so prolific out of this gun bunch. Let's go! That partner Skimbo would be mighty proud. Hester solo to the right. Yeah, here it comes. Let's dig half back out. You're going to have Hester with that post over the middle. Gin's going to run. He's going to motion him. He's going to run this dig route inside. Now he'll look to scramble if it's not there. So he finds Good read. It looked like he wanted to go to the post, but there wasn't a lot of separation. And now you got a third in inches. Play is so hard to stop, especially the way that W runs it. It's just so much you need to take away. And you put in the threat of Mike Vick there with it. Like Skim said, as long as he makes the right read. Biggest play of the game, come on. Oh, and Drew's calling for the biggest play of the game here on fourth down. And it might be with him on this one. Lost half a yard. Focus the true, the hold the door specialist. Got to go to the air here. That's a big play right here. You got to think Dubby's going to go to that bread and butter dig half back out. Has why? Has why? Go! Oh, let's go! Big defense by True. Had Henry open in the flat for days. Double box, Drini. All the way down to the eight. Huge defense by True. If you're going to get the bad time and drop pick, the time to get it's on fourth down. Or it doesn't matter. So third and goal for Draney in a tie game, 24-24, over on the left-hand side. This is when the double box is popping, Scott. Ultimate league action kicking off all over the place here. Close ball games. Runs it to the four, almost like he had, had in his mind that he was going to take the field goal and try to get a stop. And he takes the lead, 27-24 with 3.02 to go. Meanwhile, on your right, you got True in a big third and five here. It's important for him to get some first downs, kill this clock, and if he can at least get himself a field goal, he'll pretty put much put W away and really get this rivalry started. So third and five from the 25. What a Had to throw it quickly. He's nine for nine in the passing game. Who is this guy, True Boy? He's going tempo. He needs to be watched out. Dubby was sending the goons right there. You got to take this to the two-minute warning. You have to. Maybe trying to see if his line was on aggressive. He's going to go. Skinny post. Only two routes. Watch for Steve Young. Hot one! All the way down to the 40. Oh my goodness, look at Drew. With that ball. Things. 
was in the air forever. And it was a questionable play call. I didn't know what he was doing, but when it works out like that, why not? And Dubby, visibly frustrated with that one. He knows that was a huge play, and Drew Bailey got away with it. I mean, the field goal here is everything, and he's in field goal range. Yeah, I mean, Drew is in prime position to win this ball game. Can't take a sack. I run it every down. Yeah, 0-4 against Dub.W. I'm with you, Coltrane. You just run this ball, kill as much clock as possible. Make W use those timeouts. Kick the field goal if you need to. I'm pretty sure Drew's going to get the W here unless something crazy happens. And he'll move his record to 1-4 and four against W if he can do that. But his first ever MCS win against the, defe the old last year's Madden Ball champion. The defending Madden Ball champion. Second and inches now at the 30. All right, here we go. 3, 19. Leopard, Leopard. Just let that clock go. Mike with one sec. First down. And Gurley still was alive there, finally touched at the 28. W will use a timeout with 102 left in the game. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Here we go. Boom! Yeah, the game's obviously not over, but you gotta be happy for Drew. He came out, he switched his game plan to that Arizona Cardinals playbook. Doing something a little different. You don't see, you know, many players run this style of offense. Just three tight ends. A true staying true to that run game. And yeah, I think the the big difference also in this game was him getting that passing game going as well. You saw Steve Young's stats much better than what we've seen from him all season. Let's get a game update. Chaos has been fighting all game here. He is driving with less than two minutes left in the fourth quarter, and then boom, there is the fumble. Drinny recovers, looking to seal this thing with less than a minute 30 now. Appreciate it, Dave. Fourth and two. Going to kick a 37-yarder here. Got to hope to get the block at this point. If you're Dubby. See if he kicks it perfectly. Going to wind that clock all the way down. Kick. True, true, true he might call. take this all the way down and call timeout. Yeah, that's exactly what we're seeing here. Time. And he will. 19 seconds left. You got to hope for a blocked field goal to return it for a touchdown. Could you imagine if W was to block this kick and take it the other way for a touchdown? I, you know, True's been keeping us cool. Oh, yeah, but if that's what I'll snap for him. 37 yarder to push the lead up to nine. Oh yeah. So if I snap for him, it might not get, it might not be pretty. I'll, I'll go ahead and admit, in college, lost a Madden game. I kicked the door off a hinge. My dorm room door kicked it off the hinges. I one up you. How about my, my bedroom door growing up wasn't on the hinges. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> So you never held the door as a youngster. I hold the door every day. You had to pick it up, <laughs> move it, and then place it back. <laughs> True and he fakes up. it. He goes scum vintage. There's going to be no block here. What a gutsy call. Savagery. Wow. Final coming in on the other game, 27-24. Drainy uh, with the victory. Wow, what a fake by Drew. Nose W's going for the field goal block. We got to be careful here. I, I, That's a big head stick. Yeah, he could have fumbled that ball. How are you not taking a knee? I mean, I guess you're worried about point differential. I mean, if there's a scum rating, Drew's rating is up, up, up after that fake field goal, though. Some recovery. He's going to use another timeout. Final play of the game. You, th you think he knows that he needs more points? 
I mean, it's a log jam in the middle of the league, You're especially right. in this conference. It could come down to the point differential. Double tight, guys, double tight. It's me. I I'm making sure Let's I just win this ball game now. I'm mean, just running to see what happens. And that'll be it. True finally gets a win over Dubby. Good handshake right there. Good sportsmanship. And it's a final. True, 20 to 14 over Dubby. Drini continues to roll on after a rough start to the season. 27-24. Chaos is officially not going to make the playoffs here in the Ultimate League. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence with True. True, you finally got your first win over Debbie at a live event. You're now one and four, and according to his terms, we'd now have a rivalry. What does this mean to you? Uh, it's just another game. I mean, I needed that to, you know, stay alive in this Ultimate League, so I'm just treating it like a normal game. And at what point during this game did you know that you had the win? Uh, I guess the last play when I got the first down to seal it, uh, he was playing good D, and uh, I got some lucky catches down the, uh, down the uh, line, and I know I did. So. And earlier in the season, you had mentioned that you've prepared against EMB, and they have yet to get a win against you because of the way that you prepare. And essentially, in combined points, they've only scored 12 points against you so far this season. Next week, you play Musafa Jones, who's in the EMB crew. And so you've essentially called them out. How do you expect him to respond? I'm looking forward to it, but I know they're game planning for me, and they're, they're smart. They're a smart camp of people, and they've been grinding. They've been at the top for years, so I just can't wait for the battle. All right, well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Back to you, Dave Enrico.